Hello? Hello, Soria? Yeah? Hey, this is Kevin from the, the gym. Uh-huh. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, like, uh, our, we have a new manager here. The gym's under new management. Um, the, man, uh -huh. the manager's name, I don't know if you've heard of him. His name's Frank Patterson. Mm -hmm. And Oh, okay, you've heard of him? Yeah, he's the author of the book, uh, How to Lose Weight the Patterson Way. And okay. uh, he's just he's let, making us call everyone and let them know that we're going to be charging you for a copy of the book. And you'll get you'll get your book when you come in next time. You'll, you'll get it. It's a hard copy. It's twenty nine ninety five. Oh, no, I'm not interested. And, oh, oh, no, he's no. making it mandatory. Like everyone that's a member here has to have a copy of the book. Well, I, I don't want the copy of the book. I don't want to pay that price. You can give me the book, but not, I'm not going to pay for it. Oh, no, you have to pay for it. It's in your gym contract. He, he's redone the contract. So you have to buy a copy of the book and we'll just charge it to your account. Well, who said that? Um, oh, that's you can't make me buy something I don't want to. Well, it, no, it, it works with your membership because it shows you how to work out better and how to lose weight and stuff. No, I don't need that book. I don't need that book. Well, Let me talk to to your manager because I'm, I'm not being forced to buy something I don't want. Oh, he's not here today. He's at church. Frank, okay. Frank Patterson. Frank Patterson. Okay. He's a very religious okay. man. But if you look him up on Amazon, you'll see the book has really good reviews. Yeah, I know. I, and, I believe you, but I'm not interested and, in buying or spending that kind of money right it's, now. It's such a good book, and, and it's completely worth it. But I mean, No, I know. I understand, but I'm not, I'm not in that position to buy a book yeah. right now. Well, there's really no reason okay. to argue. I mean, you have to, because it's mandatory. You have to buy a copy. Uh, no, I can't. I, can't I, can't, I don't receive that. So Wait. I'll complain and talk to somebody above you so I but, can oh above me but. okay no look yeah. I, I've already charged your account so you've already paid for it so it's okay I'll, no I'll just... I'm not gonna pay for what is your name uh, my name is what Roy is your name? my name is Roy Roy what Gerbel a Gerbel uh huh but I'm not going to pay like I said that book oh. so who is your manager Oh, my really? manager he's the famous author Frank Patterson the author of how to lose okay, weight well, the Patterson way Okay, well, I will talk to him tomorrow, and do not charge me for something I didn't request. Well, no, it's it's in your so, contract, and we've already charged no, you. I don't see. Like, if you, no, look, if you look on your... No, I'll let you talk to my husband. Okay. Let you talk to my husband. Oh, that sounds great. Hello? Hello, this is Roy from the gym. Okay. Now, you're saying that you're going to take, uh, that you have already taken money from my wife's our account? Yeah, yeah, we've already took, what you're saying? We've, we've already taken it. It's been charged. And the next time she comes in, we're going to give her a copy of the book. It's by our oh, new... Oh, well, no. Well, we're going to have to decline that. We're going to have to go and call our bank up and tell them to decline that, that money order or that or that charge. Oh, there's because, no... There's because no, we didn't... There was nothing in our contract that said that we had a mandatory... And what gives you the right to go into our account... And pull that money out. You have no right. Don't you know that you can get sued for that? No, oh, we cannot. No, Frank Patterson, he's the new manager, and he redid the contracts. It says he can charge for his book. It's mandatory. And and that no, way it'll help I'm her. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. No, my wife has no problem losing weight, buddy. Then why is she in the gym? No. Because she's staying fit. That's why. Okay, well, this and is... She uh, looks very fit. Okay. She looks very good. So she doesn't need a book. Uh, I don't know about that. To... to yeah, but, no, don't tell me. But no, the book it has stuff about staying fit also. He just he wrote how to lose weight in the title cuz that just sells better, you know? I don't care. We don't want it. We didn't sign for it. It's a best and and, selling book and, in its category. I don't care. Amazon. I don't care. I don't care. We we didn't Look, sign up for that. It has, you have no right going into our account and taking money out of our account. Well, once you you read, can get in big trouble for that. Once you read I the book. I can tell you that right now. Once you read the book, you'll we change your mind. We don't want to read the book, it and we don't want the book. How many times do I have to tell you this? It has four stars, though, on, on Amazon. I it's, don't care if it's got four stars on Amazon. So it's a good it book. It can have ten and a half stars. Oh, no, it can't, because it only goes up to five stars. You must not be a, a reader. Care. You, you, I don't care. I don't care. Well, you did the wrong thing. I need to know your name. Uh, my name is still Roy. It hasn't changed in the last two minutes. What is it? Roy. R O Y. It's not a hard name to remember. What's the last? What's the last name? Gerbel. But look, it's already been charged. There's no reason to argue. It's in the contract. Oh no, we're gonna stop that payment. Trust me. Well, no, it's it's yeah, already no gone right. through. We don't, we don't we don't like anybody going in our our account. Well, we have and you right can ask to. Any 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 American. 
you you can ask any American. You have no right to go into our bank account and pull money out without asking our permission. How dare you? But we have your permission. It's in the contract. No, you do not have your you. No, you do not have our permission. Oh, we I'm telling you, you do not have our permission. No, you, do you understand? You just need to read the new contract, sir. No, I'm sorry, man. You you guys blew it big time. What are you, you talking about? You guys blew about? it big time. I didn't blow you shit. You guys blew it big time, and I'm going on Yelp, and I'm going to let everybody know exactly what you oh, guys, nobody what reads you those. idiots did. Nobody reads Oh, yeah, I'm going to do whatever it takes to stop what your, oh, your stupid you're, uh, robbing of our finances. You're so dumb. Who Come do on. you think you are? Kiss you, what? You can't do it. What did you say to me? Uh, you're being what kinda, did you say to me? I'm trying to tell you. You're dumb. You're what being, did you say to me? You're, I told you twice now. You're really dumb. You're being dumb. Stop being so dumb. Oh, wow, dude. You got a lot of nerve, bro. Well, you're the you one got a lot of nerve, throwing man. a tantrum. I, you got a lot of nerve. You really do. How dare you? Okay. I'm trying to tell you. How dare you? I don't see where your Take problem is. Take money from my account. We have permission. It's and in the contract. No, you do not have permission. You do not have our permission. The contract says we do. You do not have do. our permission. You didn't read the contract all the way through is the problem. No. You're, you know what, dude? You're, look. How do you spell your last name? Look, the reason I'm calling is because I want to know if you want to buy a second. Spell your last name. Buy, do you want to buy a second copy for like a family member? Spell your last name. Or a friend, maybe? Spell your last name. G E R B I L. I don't know why you're being such a jerk about it. I mean, nobody else is acting like this. You need to take a chill pill. That's what you need. You know what? Give me your give me your fucking account number, idiot, and let me go and pull out some money out of your account. Well, you and see how you feel. You don't. Uh, you, I didn't sign a how contract. How would you feel if I did that to you? Well, that'd be huh? that'd be illegal. How would you feel if I went into your your bank account and pulled out money without your permission? That'd be illegal. How dare you talk to me like that, you fucking asshole? I didn't sign a you contract. You want your ass kicked? Oh, we didn't oh. sign no contract for you to pull money out no, of you, our account. Maybe you're you we don't know about. We didn't do that. And quit talking to me like that before I go over there and do something about it, you idiot. Like what? What did I say? What is your problem, Roy the the retarded boy? Who do you Ouch. think you are pulling out money out of our account? You just crossed the line, Don't you man. think we can stop that, idiot? Come on. Don't you think we can stop that? You're, huh? You're hurting me. Stop, please. Fuck it. Asshole. You fucking smart ass. What the fuck is your problem? God damn it, Gary. Asshole. Answering your phone like, like an idiot. Why do I owe you the pleasure of calling me tonight? This is Grega from the station. What? You asshole. Grega. What? You asshole. What the fuck is your problem? Grega, you motherfucker. Grega. Oh, you little prick, I'll see you Monday fucking morning. Why do I owe you the pleasure of calling me tonight? You, 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 you fucking smart ass asshole. God damn it, Gary. God damn it, Gary. God damn it, Gary. Dude, I get up in the morning and I do my work and I turn on the radio when I get to my shop. Oh, you little prick, I'll see you Monday fucking morning. Oh, mind the fuck off there. Smart ass. I refuse to apologize. Little cocksucker. Asshole. Thank you, soft boy Trev, for that song. Apparently that was based on Hobo Sode number 184, which is titled Angry Show. I think that's the show where I was trying to be especially angry. People said I was being way too nice lately. And that song is on Bandcamp. You can actually buy it, and I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes. Or I guess you can just look up Soft Boy Trev on Bandcamp. So, hey everyone, 
You're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Roy the Retarded Boy, and today is April 14th, 2020. I've been away for a while. Sorry about that. It's been like a week and a couple days, I think, since I last did a show. I've been out just kind of flying around the country, seeing friends, hanging out with people, going to lots of social gatherings, you know, stuff like that. And holy shit, flying during a pandemic is amazing. The planes are completely empty. Nobody talks to you. There are so many extra seats. They don't set anybody next to anybody else. And if you're with somebody, you can just get up and go to another seat. It was pretty great. Everybody's wearing masks. People are like sitting down and like wiping down their areas with wet wipes or whatever. And I'm just sitting there licking the walls and stuff like normal. No, really, I had some family stuff come up. That's why I've been gone. Sorry for the lack of shows for the past week. I can't guarantee I'm going to make it up this week, but, you know, I'm going to do at least four shows this week. Maybe five. But I already missed yesterday. My flight got delayed by a day. I was supposed to be back Sunday night, but it ended up being Monday afternoon instead. And I blame that on Brown Magic, Rhett B, Arbitrary Alex, Eat, Fuck, and Synthhead. Those are the sponsors of today's show. It is completely their fault that my flight got canceled on Sunday, and I didn't get a show done yesterday because of that. And now here I am recording a show in one ear and listening to the Wasted Memory show in the other ear. He's taking a music break right now, so it's okay. I'm not missing anything, Wasted Memory. I do this a lot, actually. Edit in one ear, listen to another show in the other ear. It's very confusing. Whenever you hear a mistake in my show with the editing, that's usually a result of me listening to some other show and I'm not paying close attention to my own show. Please blame Wasted Memory and Dragon Mirror for any editing mistakes today. And also thanks, new supporters... On the Patreon, Andrew F. Vernon S. Fred H. Kinney N. Harrison C. Jared O. Ryan F. Caesar R. Eben Meme Man. Thomas P. Perrin B. And Punk X Queen. Those are a few of the people who have signed up over the past couple weeks. All on Patreon. I'm not sure if anyone new signed up on newproject2.com slash phone losers. Because they don't email you whenever you get a new subscriber. You just kind of have to guess at who's new. I think Jonathan B. might be new. I don't recognize that name. And Anthony S., maybe. Anyway, I have several updates before we get started on today's show. Update number one would be about the PLA coins of 2020. A lot of people have been asking me about that. And I can pretty much guarantee you that there will be coins in 2020. And I was hoping to kind of start on them like right around now, like I did back in 2018, try and get them done early in the year. But then the whole COVID-19 thing happened. And I think there's restrictions on China, which I think is where the coins come from. I know they come from some other country, and I'm always wondering if they're going to get here or not. I've got to look into that. I've got to see if I can even get coins shipped to me. But I'm thinking the best thing to do is probably going to be to wait until after summer to get some new coins made. Because hopefully by then all of the stuff will have died down. And hopefully the world won't be in a major depression by that point. As far as I know, the design is going to be exactly like the 2018 coins. They're just going to say 2020 on them. And I'm okay with that. I love that design that Don Fickles from Clownsec made. It is just completely perfect. Thank you once again for that, Don. Are there restrictions from China? Anybody know? Because I sure don't know. I just remember hearing that there's some sort of restrictions. I'm probably wrong. I'm pretty sure I got something from China from Amazon recently or eBay or something. So that's my update on the coins. I'll be doing a Kickstarter again. How long can Kickstarters last? Can I just make a Kickstarter for 90 days instead of 30? Is that crazy? Maybe I'll do that. And update number two, I guess there's just two updates. If you don't count the update about why I was gone forever. Uh, Candy McNasty, she says, RBCP, can we get an Xbox gaming clan? Even if it's just for Patreon. Does anyone play Destiny 2 on here? Add me. Yeah, it's like X's and spaces and stuff. I agree, Candy McNasty. We need to, I need to set up some sort of a gaming page, like phonelosers.com slash gaming or something else along those lines. I used to, I didn't, I used to put it in the show notes. Hey, everybody, join us with our games. Back when I was playing the Simpsons tapped out game, I think that was under the community section. And we do have the Rockstar Social Club thing. I think it's called PLA Radio, which somebody else set up. I can't think of the link for that, but I'll try to find that. Oh, no, it's on the sidebar of phonelosers.com. Just look on there. 
but I don't play Xbox myself, but I'm sure plenty of other PLA people do. Others play PS4 and whatever else. Yes, we need to set up some sort of central location thing where people can exchange gaming codes and all that crap. I just got a uh, Switch, a Switch Lite, a couple weeks ago. I've been playing Animal Crossing a lot, especially this past week since I haven't been doing shows. And there is a, a gaming channel on the Discord. If anyone wants to go to that, it's phonelosers.com slash Discord. And yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It looks like it's a bunch of people exchanging gaming codes and stuff like that. There we go. We already have this. Candy McNasty. So yeah, let's figure things out with gaming stuff. Figure out the best way to put that on a central location if it's not going to be this Discord channel. Oh, also, Axpa created a Rust server. I have not been to it yet. I have not played Rust in a couple of years now. But if anyone wants to play Rust with Axpa and whoever else... I know Gad used to be on there a lot. Quite a few PLA people were. I will have a link to that in the show notes. And where was it earlier? I think, um, was it Dragonmere? Yeah, there it is. It's on Reddit. Dragonmere, he made a PLA hat in Animal Crossing. Somebody else had like a whole PLA room with PLA posters and stuff. And he's got the code posted for it. Does that mean anyone can just take it? That's kind of awesome. So I'll have a link to that also in the show notes. Or just go look on the Phone Losers Reddit at reddit.com slash phone losers. Wow, this intro I think might be turning into a long intro. I need to cut it out. Let's get started with today's show. It's the Mickey Mouse talking phone. Hi, this is Mickey Mouse. Mickey, come over for a party. You call Tom Death. Okay. With the Mickey Mouse talking phone, the battery is not included. It's Donald. Come on over. With the Mickey Mouse talking phone, you can call six different Disney characters. Yup, you guessed it. I'm Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Mickey Mouse talking phone from Hasbro's preschool division. Hello. Hi, Erica. Yep, this is her. Hey, it's Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. I live here on court. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, I was wondering, can you stop uh, coming into my yard late at night and watering my trees? Huh? You, you keep coming into my yard like late at night and watering my trees. Can you please not do that? Like, uh, it's nice and everything. It, I, I just don't feel comfortable. Is this a prank call? No. Well, I haven't been coming into your yard and watering your trees. Well, I know you have because I have you on camera. Can you please just not do that anymore? It's a little weird. What camera? The doorbell camera. Well, it's not even possible. What do you mean it's not possible? Doorbell cameras exist. I'm not coming. I'm not coming into your yard. I know that you are. So can you look? You don't have to deny it. Just please stop doing it. That's all. If you can send me a video, then then that's proof. The, I but have proof. I'm I don't have to send you my proof. Yard. Just don't come in my yard anymore. Don't water my trees. You're overwatering them. Who is this? This is Steve Dave. I live down the street from you. You know exactly who it is. Maybe you water a lot of neighbors' trees, but I'm telling you, I don't who want you. Who is Steve Dave? I don't want you to do it anymore. Okay, just please stop doing it. I don't. I don't really believe this. I don't believe you'd come in my yard at night and water my trees without my permission. Please stop doing it. What is your address if I'm supposedly doing this? You know you're doing it. I don't know why you're denying it. Just please stop. Who is this? I already told you. Why do you keep going with this? Because I'm not, I'm not watering your, your trees. That's a, little, that's a little freaking weird. Yeah, it is a little freaking weird, isn't it? Who is this? You'd probably think it's weird if I came into your yard and watered your trees. Hey, go for it, man. You can water my trees all you want. No, I don't want to. That's extra work for me. Why would I do that? Just please stop doing it to my Who house. Who is this? I don't... I, I, this, this makes no sense. Yeah. This it makes, makes absolutely I, no sense. I, I completely agree with you. It makes no sense at all. Please cut it out. Thank you. And we lost her. I thought it'd be fun to call up some people and accuse them of doing the things that I always tell other people that I'm doing in their yard, like watering their trees. So I'm calling numbers once again from a list of Frankies. Thank you, Frankie, for this list. I'm going to call up every neighbor of mine and get to the bottom of this tree watering shit. Hello? Hi, Zinda. Yes? Hey, it's your neighbor. This is Steve Dave. Um, I was calling to ask if you could please stop coming into my yard late at night and watering my trees. I'm sorry, who is this? 
Uh, this is Steve Dave. I live down the street from you on Logan Street. And I, I've just, I've noticed, I've seen you on my camera and everything. I, I see you keep coming over to my yard and watering my trees late at night. And we're, we're doing just fine with the watering ourselves. I was just hoping you could stop. I don't know if you think we don't take care of our trees, but they're doing just... I don't even know. I'm sorry. I'm not even sure who you are. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I live down the street from you. I'm I'm like, uh, I don't know, seven houses down on Logan Street. And why do you think it's me? Because I've seen you on the camera. How do you know who I am if I don't know who you are? We're neighbors. I, I live down at 1007. I, I, I... But you don't have to pretend I, he... that you didn't do it. Just please don't do it anymore. Because you're going to end up overwatering them and... That can't be good for him. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll get right on that. Thanks. No, I want you to stop. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'll, I'll make I'll make I have a legit have zero idea what you're talking about. No, so. you know what you're doing. Can you at least apologize for it? Okay, bye. Maybe this is a horrible idea. Maybe that's just going to be the reaction every time. I need to get some guys on here. I need to stop reaching women. I need some guys to get super defensive and yell at me and stuff. Hello, Fred? Yes. Hey, uh, it's your neighbor. This is Steve Dave. Yeah, hi. Hi. Hey, I was wondering, can you please stop coming into my yard and watering my trees for me? I I've got a landscape guy for that. I don't know what you're talking about. Um. Well, I, I don't know how many neighbors' trees you water. I, I live here on <laughs> place. Just like I don't water anybody's trees. Not even your own? No. Well, I don't know why you would come down and water my trees. Because, uh, like, it's it, it's nice and everything. I appreciate it, I guess. It's just a little weird can, that you're coming in my yard, you know, like... Middle... I'm, not, I'm not coming in anybody's yard. Who is this and what are you talking about? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I live here on the same street as you. I was just hoping you could please stop. That's all. Steve, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've told you exactly what I'm talking about. I just, I don't need you watering my trees. I don't water your trees. Are you part of that wood enthusiast organization or something? No, I'm not part of any organization. Okay, well, are you, so you're just doing it like on your own, just like a... I don't water, any, Steve, I don't water anybody's trees. Okay, well, I don't see why you're denying it. I know it's you. I just, I was just... Well, I, I don't think you do because I, I don't do anything like that. What do you mean water the trees? Well, you, you keep coming over and, and just taking my hose and watering my trees and, and the, the garden I, area. I think, I, I think that this is not true, and I'm not going to have this discussion. Well, just please stop. That's all I'm asking. Just I'm please. not doing it, Steve. Goodbye. You, you know you're doing it. Stop it. No, I'm not. You are, too. Well, that was a little better, I guess. Ms. Osmond. Hey, Osmond. Uh, this is Steve Dave down the street from you. Oh, hey. Hey, doing? pretty good. Hey, I was just wondering, um, can you please stop metal detecting in my yard? Excuse me? You know, you, you keep coming into my yard with your metal detector and, you know, digging little holes and stuff. I don't know what you're looking for, but it's not a big deal. I, I just you don't have a metal detector. Oh, so you're borrowing sure. someone else's? No, no, no. I, I don't do any metal detecting at all, so I'm not quite sure... Oh no! I, I look. What's going you, on? you don't have to pretend that you're not doing it. I know it's you. I've I've got a ring doorbell camera thing. I was just hoping you could not do that anymore. <laughs> okay, look, I the wrong person. Seriously. Well, no, I uh, I know who you well, are. Like we're neighbors. I here for a while. You're what? No, no. So hang on a second. Which house do you think we're in? Uh, ten twenty one. So we're all ten twenty one way. I, I live just a few houses yes. down from you, like uh, seven, I, I, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm over on Meadow, like around the bend from you. Okay. I don't know how many houses that you go around and metal detect at, but I was just hoping you could not, like, I, I at least don't... at least don't do my backyard. Okay, Here, here's the thing. <laughs> we don't do any metal detect, we don't even go out of the house, Okay. and but... nor do we even walk down Meadow at all. Sir, I've seen... The only thing we've done so far is... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
The only thing we've done so far is I've hired some guys to mow my lawn, but that's about it. I don't even mow my own lawn. Okay, well, I know that, but so, you're, you're, you're taking your little gardening shovel and coming over and, like, metal detecting in my yard, and, like, you've been here so many times at this point, I think you've found everything that there is to find. It's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just asking I, you to I, please I not do it again. Have, I still don't know if this is, like, a, like a prank or what. I, I honestly think you're the wrong person. So, no, I, I, I know exactly who you are. We're, we're neighbors. You, you live at 1021. And I'm yeah. around. I'm I'm around the corner. Uh, I'm I'm at one thirty eight <clears throat> Meadow. Okay. I, I I just so why don't we why don't we meet and, and talk about this because I seriously no, don't know who you are, know what your house is. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We don't need to be hanging out together. We need to social distance. And I, I know no, that's that's fine. We'll stay six feet apart. I know I, I know you're doing this in the middle of the night, so it's it's that that part of it's not a big deal. It's just. Just you know, we, I, it's just a little weird to have someone out there metal detecting in my yard. I totally understand, but I I still think like you you've got somebody else. No, I know I know who you are. I know what you look like. We've I've you've waved at me when I drove by once. Like just just please, it's not me, sir, sir. Please stop it, okay? It's it's a little odd. Here's and, here's what I'm suggesting, okay? Okay. You, you've you got ring, so do I, so you've got it set up perfect, right? Why don't you, like, talk to the cops no. and catch the guy who's doing it? I'm not going to bother the police with why, something why? silly like this. Just just don't do it. You know what? Yeah, if I, if I catch you out there thing, again, man. I'm, I'm going to spray the hose on you. I'm, I'm just, or I'm going to set Please up. Please do. I'm going to set up, I'm going to set up most, do. you're going to feel like, like an idiot, though, if you get all wet. No, set up, set up the, the holes. Do do whatever you need to. Okay. Well, are you going to um, apologize to me when I guy, when I squirt you with the hose? Are you going to apologize to me at least? What? Are you going to apologize to me when I squirt you with the hose? Uh, I won't because I'm not going to be there. But whoever you squirt, please take a video and post it on the internet because that would be hilarious. Well, won't be so hilarious when it's you that I post on there. What? Look, I don't know why you're being like this. Just please stop doing it. Stop coming into my house. Stop stop coming to my house. I don't know yard. why you're calling me about stuff that I'm not even doing. I know it's you. I know it's you. You're, you're the one with you, the metal. It det- cannot be me. It, it, it cannot is, it absolutely, possibly be me. I, I have you on my ring camera like several times. You keep coming over and digging then around in my you, yard. Why don't, you, why don't you download the video and send it to me? Because I sure as fuck know it's not me. I, so I the sure fact as- that you're calling me and accusing me of shit that I'm not doing... It's really starting to piss me off, dude. I sure as fuck really know that it is you. It is you. I know it's you. Stop it. Then, then prove to me that it is me. I, I don't have to prove shit. There's no fucking way it's going to be me. I don't have to prove shit, motherfucker. You just stop coming in my yard. It's private property. You're trespassing. Whoever, whoever it is that's coming to your yard, I'm sorry that you're going, they, going through it. Stop bugging me because it ain't me. It is to you. Stop, so, stop pretending it's not dude, you. Look. I'm going to put a no trespassing sign up. Please do. Uh, you can, like, I don't know, do, do whatever you want. Put okay. the sprinklers, shoot the guy. I don't give a shit. It's not me. Look, you've proven so to me that you're, you're you've proven to me that you're a good actor. You're you're very being very realistic about denying it. But it like none of that matters. Just stop doing it. Oh my god, it's got to be like a a prank call or a punk call. This is ridiculous. What the fuck is a punk call? This is absolutely. The show Punked, where you guys like, you know that that show from people. like twenty years ago that hasn't been on the air in twenty years. That's all I know. Where people the are fuck are you talking people. about? That's well, what you I'm need saying. to get a life. Just get you a fucking are, life, okay? Get a fucking life. Stay out of my yard. Why metal detect in your own yard? Like, why, why, you know, if you would have just come up I and asked, nobody uses metal detectors, dude. What the fuck is this? What are you talking about? Lots talking of people about? use the metal detectors. That's that's like a big thing still. Do you think people don't so, still lose things in their yards and use metal detectors? There's whole communities for that shit, uh, and I'm not interested in it. people do. I have not seen anyone use metal detectors in ages, so I don't know who you it, think Except for yourself. Around. It's certainly not me. It is, too. It, it's definitely you. You're always coming to my yard and metal detecting, and I want you to stop it. So listen, stop it. 
I cannot stop something I have not done. You so, are so full like of said, shit. Dude, why, why, You're why, full why, of why, shit. Why don't, you, why don't you go, why don't you catch the guy, why don't you do whatever you need to do, you can beat the shit out of him. I no, don't care. I'm it not that kind of a person. Why, why do you think I'd be violent? I'm just nicely calling you and asking you to cut it out. You're calling me about something that I'm not doing, and it's starting to really annoy me. I don't know if that's the goal, but... I'm not trying to annoy you. I just want you to stop, okay? Just just stick to your next-door neighbors or something. Why are you even coming to my house? I'm, like, way over here. Why are you coming? I can say, why are you coming to my house? Why are you digging holes for my backyard? Why am I coming to your house? Why, why... Yeah, I, I can just... Stuff, stuff like that. I can just be like, hey, why are you coming to my yard? Okay, that, that's, that's you. your new defense? I've got a that's your new defense? You're just going to repeat everything I say like a grade schooler? No, I'm you need saying... To grow I'm the you fuck up. Of a scenario. Grow the, the fuck, fuck up. up. I'm just telling you... Dude, I'm telling you what you're telling me is absurd. So I can, I, I can also make up absurd accusations. They sound ridiculous. Well, I'm you, sorry you, you're going through this, man. You are really ridiculous. Am. Coming into my yard, metal look, detecting, digging up little holes in my yard. Look, like what, what is it you're looking man, for I'm anyway? Why, why is there? Why, why do you think there's something well, buried not, in my yard? I'm not in your yard. There's nothing buried in I'm my not yard. In your yard. I'm not in your yard. I don't know why you're paranoid. I don't know what's going on with you. I'm not I'm being sorry. paranoid. It's, it's on video. You're going through. Then. Then what? Your phone the, cut the, out. You're shitty. Show, show to me. I don't want to show it to you. I don't even want to like talk to you. I don't want to be friends with you. Neither do I. You're the one that called me. Wow, asshole. You're, you're the one that fucking called me, man. Okay, listen. I'm going to come clean with you. This is Ashton Cook, Kutcher from the, the show Punked. And you just been punked, motherfucker. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. That show was canceled decades ago. J- just stop com- coming to my yard, okay? Please. That's all I ask. Listen, I'm not, I'm not coming to your yard, nor do I want anything to do with your house, your yard, your family. Okay? I don't want to be around that area, nor do I give a shit. You're an idiot. You're so, an idiot. Just stay out of people's yards. We don't need, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this on next door. I'm gonna say, hey, everyone. Please. Look, look at Osmond. Please do. So I can, actually, I can actually finally see it. Maybe you're sleepwalking. Maybe, maybe you just don't remember it. Oh my god! So I'm sleepwalking to buy a metal detector and coming straight to your house. Oh, you know you have a metal what, detector. What, you, what drugs are you smoking, dude? You know you have a metal detector. Don't deny that. You need to go to the beach or something. Go to the beach and metal detect like a normal person. What are you talking about? Look, yeah, whoever yeah. it is, I hope you. I hope you catch the guy. You, you should win an Emmy. It, you should win an not, Emmy. Win an Emmy for your amazing acting that you're doing right now. Good job. Look, whatever, man. Clearly, I can't convince you that it's not me. Okay. So all well, I can do is I hope you cast the guy. Do whatever you need to do, right? Set up motion detection. Spray the guy. I mean, do whatever you need to do. I don't care. Post on next door so at least I can see it. Like, just, just do whatever you need to do. Oh, I will. Me. But you know what? Yeah. I, I bet you. I bet you. I'm never going to see you there again because now you know that I know it's you. So it's going to be really weird that he's going to suddenly stop doing it <sighs> now that I've called you and talked to you. You're just going to pretend it was never dude, you. you. Are a Whatever. Weird, weird dude. Oh, you're the one metal detecting guy. in in 2020. Who the Nobody fuck metal detects? Metal detecting. Yes, they are. You are. I know it's you. Look, I'm. You, there's no chance. Please. Please, look, if you're making accusations like this... Hey, shut the fuck up. It, it, hang up the phone. Hey, listen. listen hang hang you're, it up. You're making accusations. You're the one that called me. You're the one that called me. You're making accusations. Because you're doing it. So, so, so then, then prove to me. Make, you make the accusi- uh, accusations. You said you have it on video. Show me, please. Okay, look. Because I guarantee... It, it you totally other, wasn't you. Guy. It totally wasn't you. But I, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to happen again. So thank you for not doing it anymore. Asshole. Oh, my God. Look, I'm sure at some point there's going to be some guy, and you can spray him and then do what you need. I hope you, get, I hope you get the guy. I really hope you do. So do what you need to do, but just stop calling me with this shit because it's not me. Okay. All right. Good job. I'm going to clap for your amazing acting, acting abilities. Good job.
Um, you sounded very realistic. I'm just annoyed. You sound like you really didn't do it. Okay, whatever, man. All right, have I, a I, have a I, nice I day. Care. But I'm tired I, of talking yeah, to you. Yeah. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I have you. That went on for ten minutes. I could probably edit that down to about five minutes, and it'd be the exact same call because we're just talking in circles. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Steve Dave, down the street from you. Hello. Hi, is Jeff Brown? May I tell him who's calling, please? Uh, well, this, this is uh, this is your neighbor. I, I live here on Drive Two. Okay, sure. Yeah, hold on, just one second. Okay. Hello. Hey, Jeff. This is Steve Dave down the street from you. Hi, Steve. Hi. Hey, I was wondering, can you please stop laying out in my yard late at night? Can I stop laying out in your yard? Yeah. Cause, you know, we have the backyard camera. We can see you out there and everything. It's not a big deal. I'm not trying to make a big thing of it. But we just see you laying out there late at night, uh, smoking I something. I think you do. Uh, I'm sure it's you, because I, I know what you look like. We've, You know, you've waved at me when I drive by and stuff. We're neighbors. But I go to bed at night. I don't lay in your backyard. And if you're so convinced it's me, I'd like for you to show me that video footage, please. Oh, no. I don't need to prove to you that it's you when you know it's you. Just please stop doing it. That's all I'm asking. Can you please well, not? I'm pretty sure I don't know who the fuck you are. Well, I don't know you either. But that's not... Oh, did you hang up? Hello? Damn it. Maybe I should do something coronavirus related. Like, stop wiping down my handrails with alcohol? Or, what is it, bleach? I don't know. That's Michael. Hey, Michael. Uh, this is Steve Dave down the street from you. Oh, yes. Hey, I was hoping that you could stop um, wiping down the, the handrails on our porch with, with, I don't know what you're using, bleach or alcohol or something. Like, we're, we're fine. We, we don't even touch the handrails. You're just making them smell a lot. Oh, you got the wrong person because I haven't wiped down any handrails anywhere. Oh, no, we know it's you. You, li you live at 1051, right? Yeah, but what, what porch are you talking about? Um, I, I, we're, we're like maybe seven houses down. Why would I, why, why would I uh, wipe someone else's handrails down? I guess you're just concerned about the coronavirus. We, we, you know, our, our camera no. reaches... Quite a, we we see you doing it to the next door neighbors too. It's it's nice and everything, but you're just you're making the no. The, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know who it is, but it's not me. Well, no, it's definitely you. I I you, you how know. Do you, we, how do you know that? Uh, well, I just live seven houses away. I, I we know who you are. This is Steve, Dave, and Carol. You know, just 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 down the street a little bit, like past <laughs> drive. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't even wipe handrails on my own house down. No, you, it, is, you, you it is not me. No, I'm sure it's you. Like, um, you, you wipe down our, our doorknob and our mailbox and our handrails. No. And there's no reason no. for that. You know, I'm... No, wait a minute. I'm not even sure wait this coronavirus thing is real, to be honest. Wait a minute. I'm uh, at my house. Where are you at? I'm sorry, what? I am at my house. Where are you at? I'm at my house. Are you at your house? Yeah. Okay, I want you to come out and meet me. Oh, no, face no, face we're supposed to show social you're, distance. You're 100% you're mistaken. Oh, no, I'm definitely not mistaken. I know exactly who you are. I just, I wish you could please not do that anymore. That's all. No, no wait a minute. It's, it's not. I have, no, no, I'm not going to be accused of doing something I've never done. Okay, well, it's, I'm, it, it, I know it's you, though. Like, Look, you don't have to pretend How you didn't. How do you know do it's me? Did you see me doing this? Yes. I saw, we have, like, several videos of you on our ring doorbell camera wiping down our handrails and wipe, okay. wiping down our doorknob and the mailbox. Okay. What's your address? What, why do you need that? Well, because I'm going to walk down and I want to see these videos of me. No, I'm not going to. I'm not letting you in. It's We're in the middle of a pandemic. Well... <laughs> <laughs> and this is ludicrous. I don't wipe anyone's handrails down. Okay, I'll tell you. I don't even know where your house is at. Okay, I'll tell you my address, but I don't want you coming over here. Like, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Can you please just make, take me off of your list? Like, just don't wipe down my address. I, 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 Stephen, I swear to God, 
And, and which chemicals are you using anyway? Because that, you know, like if we touch it, it kind of burns. Like I think you're using Steven, too strong of a mixture. I swear to God. Is that ammonia? <laughs> is this some kind of crank call? No, of course not. Really? Look, can you can can you just not do it anymore? I don't do it to start with. What what are I you doing? I are... stop doing it because I'm done doing it to start with. Okay, well, can you admit to me that you do it and apologize and not do it again? No, I'm not admitting because I've never done such a thing. Sir, it's obviously you. It's very clearly you. It's on you're on it's camera. It's not me cuz cuz I'm I'm out driving around. I'm seeing customers. I'm in an essential business. Okay. I'm not well, wiping I, down door handles. I'm not Well, I know you're doing it late at night. <laughs> and No. No, I'm not. Swear to God. Okay, we're we're taking care of our own shit. You know, you coming up here, you you could just be spreading your own germs. So st- stop coming on what our property and spreading your germs around. Are you sure it's not Mike? Oh, I don't. I don't even know who that is. Well, he's at fifteen oh three. You sure you got the right Mike? Yeah, you guys look completely different. I'm sure. Like, no, I, I we I know who you are. Well, how would you know who I am? And I don't even know who you are. I don't know because I've seen you out in your yard and stuff, and getting in your car, and you waved at me once. Okay, well, what kind so, of car do I have? Hell if I know. I'm not into cars. So what's your address? I, I'm at 10, 1002. 1002? Yeah, it's on it's on drive, but it's across the street past drive. Just please don't do it again, okay? That this doesn't have to be a big, no. big thing. Just stop. No, it is a big thing because I'm not doing this. I mean, it's nice and everything. I, I understand you're no, trying to go, do not, a good deed. I'm not. But we didn't ask for it. <laughs> I'm not doing this. It could be someone that looks like me. That'd be but like it's not me. That'd be like I you. want you to see me. I'm gonna stand in your driveway and I want you to see me and then I want you to go back and watch your video. Because this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. No, it's it's look, we have a close up of your face and everything. I don't see why you're denying <laughs> it. You're just doing a good deed. That's fine. No, I'm not doing a good deed. I'm not gonna go take care of somebody else's problem. Well, then why are you I'll doing it then? I'll down my own handles. Well, why not? Like, it seems like a good idea. We're in the middle of a pandemic. What if the mailman touches your handrail or something? I'm I'm not worried about it. Okay, I'm, I'm not either. Years old. I'm, I'm not that worried about it either. Well, you should be worried. That's that's the age where it, it really gets you. Well, it hadn't got me yet. Okay, well, that doesn't mean you need to go around just wiping down everyone's houses. <laughs> What you know? What I would like for you to do, I would like for you to file a police report. No, and have the police come down and interview. This me. is not a police matter. I'm just asking you it to please a, stop. It is a police matter because someone's accusing me of doing something that I'm not doing. You're wiping down my wife's car handle, d- door handles on her car, and like I don't know what you're using. Like like you know, water down your mixture a little bit. It burns when we touch it. <laughs> I'm glad you think this is funny. I there's don't. Not I even, just, just, there's not even a, such an address as one zero zero. There is too. It's down the street. You don't know what you're talking about. Just, well, I'm between one zero one one and one zero five one. I'm not seeing any one zero zero two. You're out there walking right now. Yep. Get the fuck inside. We're in the middle of a pandemic, idiot. Oh. Huh. Well, I think you can be outside during a pandemic, can't okay. you? Anyway, can you just apologize, and we'll just I'll let you go. No, I'm just, not apologizing. Just apolog- no, you need to apologize. No, I don't. Yes, I think you do. No. Because you, no. you dripped some of that corrosive shit on, on my wife's car, and, and there's like a mark on the door. And I'm not even going to make you pay for it, but if you could just apologize, that'd be great. Uh, I'm not apologizing for something I didn't do. Well, that's a shitty thing to do. Please, please. Please around. call the police department. No, I'm not what calling the police. It's not a police have? matter. Don't Don't worry about what kind of car my wife has. Well, I don't think you're telling the truth. Stop trying I think to, you're making all this stop stuff up. Stop trying to come to my house. I didn't invite you over. I I specifically said don't come over, and you're walking over here, fucking weirdo. Really? Probably have probably have your sanitizer and, and rag in your hand, don't you? Yeah, I do. Come over and rub my railings down just for spite. Are you looking at me right now? No, I'm in the the back bedroom. Oh, I'm standing out in front of your house. Okay, well, the phone's attached to the wall. I can't come up. 
No, well, just lay it down and walk out. I don't want to. I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to get the corona from you. You don't even have a ring doorbell on your house. You, you, huh. you said my house didn't even exist, so it sounds like you're the one that's full of shit. Well, 1002. I thought you said it didn't exist. Now it does well, all of a sudden? There's no 1002, but there's a 100. I didn't say I live on. I said I lived past drive. Oh, so you have 1002 drive. Yeah, you probably don't That's even your know. Address. You, you don't even know what. Yes, but don't don't knock on my door. Stay out of my yard. Don't be ringing. You don't have a ring doorbell. It, it's. I didn't say it was a doorbell camera. It's a ring camera. It's not on oh. the doorbell itself. Ring makes a lot of different cameras, idiot. What, what kind? What kind of car does your wife have? What kind of car do you have parked in your okay, driveway? Okay, now you're right just now? being a stalker. I'm, I'm hanging up. You're freaking me out. Please, just get away what from... What kind of car is your Get the your fuck away have? from my house. Get away from what my house. What did you say your name was? I told you several times. My name is Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah, yeah. Get get away from my house. D-A-V-E? Steve? D-A-V-E? Yeah, you're, you're being you're being creepy. Like, now you're just being creepy. Like, before, you're, it seemed like you're trying to be nice... Now you're being creepy. What? <laughs> Why am I being creepy? Because you're, you're like the trying to ask me, me to spell my name and ask me what kind of car my dri- my wife drives. You don't even have a handrail on your house. Yeah, we took him down because of your bullshit. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. I eventually find out who this is. This is interesting. But I'll go again. Oh, you'll never find out who this is. <laughs> Holy shit, he walked down to their house, and he's right. There is no handrail on the front of the house. I love that he's just standing out there right now looking at their doorbell. I should have told him it was the back handrails, the ones in the backyard. Like, come in the backyard. I'll knock on the window at you, and you'll see I'm real. Oh. Hi, Julie. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave, your neighbor. Oh, hi. How hi. are you? Pretty good. Hey, um, we've got one of those ring doorbell cameras, you know? Yes. And we saw that it's you are the one that keeps coming up and rearranging the numbers on our mailbox, I guess, to confuse the, the UPS driver or something. I don't know. But can you please not do that? What? What are you talking about? You keep doing that weird practical joke thing. And I, I get it. It's funny. But, like, it's starting to get old. Can you please just not do that anymore? I have no idea what you're talking about. And can you please repeat who this is again? <laughs> oh, this is this is Steve Dave. I live on also. Steve Dave. Okay. Like I, which direction? Um, to the right, across the street from you. I, I do you do this to a lot of people? You actually don't know who I am? No, I don't know exactly which house you're on. But I can tell you I'm not doing anything to anybody's mailbox. Okay, no, no, it's you don't have to deny it. We know it's you. Can you please just not do it anymore? Because it's, it's just, it's a little irritating. You know, we have to switch it back and UPS is missing I'm, deliveries. I'm laughing because I know this is a practical joke. <laughs> I don't. I know you I think it's a practical joke, but I don't think it's that funny after this many times. So can you please? Okay, if. If this is real, come to the end of my driveway or tell me which driveway you're at and I'll come to the end of your driveway. No, I don't want to come and it's, it's social distancing, okay? It's, we're in the middle of a <laughs> pandemic. Just just please don't do it anymore, okay? Sir, I'm, I'm hoping that you're joking, but it, whatever you're talking about, it's not me. It's definitely you. Do the camera does not lie. We got a very clear picture of your face, and you're up there rearranging our the the numbers on our on our house. Okay, well, it's, it's not me, Steve, and I'm not sure again which direction are you south in the neighborhood or north, like from our house. How do you I'm how do you not that. even know this? Because it, it seems like you do this quite a bit. Do you do this to all the neighbors? Just rearrange the numbers in their house. Okay, I'm gonna hang up. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm. I don't understand where this is coming from, but I'm... It's coming I'm from the ring doorbell camera where we have your picture. Okay, well, I'll have to see that because it could be a lookalike. You don't... There's no lookalike of you. You have a, okay, we, you have a weird... Up. You have a weird face. Who would have that same <laughs> face? I'm going to head up now. All right. We, thank you for calling. All, all of us here on the street, we call you weird face.
Shit. Hello? Nancy. Yeah. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Steve Dave. It's who? Steve Dave, your neighbor. I, I live on but but you know, like seven houses, you know, around the bend. Well, what, what, you don't live on anymore? Oh, crap, you're cutting out. Shit. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. You were just cutting out. I couldn't hear anything you said. Um, yeah, my boss lives in... Okay, so... But then why do you keep coming over and, and switching numbers around on our house? Because we know that's you. We have a ring doorbell camera. I'm sorry? Well, thank you. I appreciate you apologizing. Can you please just not do it anymore, though? Cause it's, I, I it's, don't know who this is. It's causing problems with package delivery. Just please don't do it again. Um. Okay, I don't believe I've done anything. Um, well, I'm sure that you have, because we have you on our ring doorbell camera, and we know it's you. Um, I haven't been to since March. Okay, well, that's some really fine acting you're doing there. You sound very believable, but can you please not do it again? Okay, well, I'd like to know what it is that I'm doing. You know that you keep switching the numbers around on our house. And that, Switching it, numbers on your house. Yeah, it, it's it's messing up our deliveries. It confuses UPS drivers. Just please stop doing it, okay? It's kind of an asshole thing to do. Well, yeah. I mean, if I knew what it was that I was doing... I just told you exactly what you're doing. So can you please stop being an asshole and switching the numbers on our house? Switching the numbers on your house. Yes. Um, sure. Okay, thank you. Please don't do it again. We know it's you. So you just need, well, you need to grow, grow the fuck up, okay? I'm sorry. Um, and what what is your address? I would think you would know exactly what the address is since you keep coming up on our porch and switching our numbers around. Um, no. So you do it I, to several yeah. different neighbors? It's not just me? I mean, you may have reached the wrong person. Oh, no, it's definitely you. You used to, li uh, you used to live at 1041, I guess. But we, no? We, we, know, we know what you look like and everything, and we have you on our ring camera. Just please don't do it again. That's it. Oh, just, what do I look like? Okay, look, you, you can you can keep playing this, this silly little, uh, you know, pretending you didn't do a game by yourself, but I got better things to do. Just please stop stop touching our house numbers. Well, I, I mean, I'm asking you, what do I look like? What, you're what the kind of car do I drive? You're, you're the ugly one, both inside and out. Oh, well, that's kind. Um, and what is your address? You already asked me that, and I thought it was weird that, like, you would need to know that, because that means you're doing in the, doing this to a lot of people. You need to just grow the fuck up, okay? So, that's all. I can let you go. I just, I was hoping... And you, I didn't I catch your name initially. I said my name is Steve Dave. I was hoping you could just be a man and admit that it was you and promise not to do it again, but you're just going to pretend you didn't do it, so whatever. Please. And it's... At, at least please don't do it again, okay? Can you just assure me you won't do it again? I'm not asking to, you to apologize. Just don't do it again. Well, no, certainly. If if I've done something wrong, I would like to apologize. Well, but thank you for the apology then. I'm not then. sure and, and just please don't do it again. one, you have the correct person. No, I have the correct person. You're Nancy. Um... So, but I've asked you what I've looked like, and even though you told me you knew, you can't tell me. Okay, yeah, that, that, that made it sound extra realistic when you were pretending that you didn't do it. So good job. Way to go. 
you you would do really um, good in court if you ever end up in court. I'm sure you'll be a great liar. Well, I mean, you're certainly setting a stellar uh, impression hey. of yourself. So. Oh, what? Because I don't like to have my house number changed night well, after night. And just, just please. Your language. Your language is really really impressive yeah so, thanks i think my language is uh, fucking great at least i don't go around changing people's house numbers well i'm uh sorry that you're having this problem i would you think you're, you're be, a good person because you don't curse when you switch people's house numbers around well i'd certainly be willing to uh help but i certainly know that i haven't done anything wrong oh i know so. you have just just please don't do it again okay just just cut it out Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. All right. Bye, mm -hmm. honey. Nobody wants to just admit it and be done with it. I mean, come on. Once you're on camera, it's obvious it's you. It's time to stop the charades. This is Maria. Oh, hey, Maria. Yeah. It, it's uh, Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Hi. Hi. Hey, I was hoping, um, can, can you please stop coming over to our house and wiping down the handrails on our house? Um, I, oh. I, I guess you're doing oh, that. Oh, no, I think we, I think we have a diff, you might have a different neighbor in mind. Oh, no, it's Maria. We, we know what you look like. We have one of those ring cameras, you know, one of those doorbell cameras. So we, we've seen you do it several times. I, I guess you're just being nice and sanitizing everyone's stuff. Oh, I'm, stuff I'm sorry. I honestly, are, are you, are you, uh, I honestly... I apologize. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, this is Maria. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly who you are. I live on <laughs> Drive also. We we live just Oh, up, what house up. are you in? Uh, we're in the the grayish color. We're we're like 7 or 8 houses away, like around the bend kind of. Okay, up toward uh, uh, First of all, I think you might have me mistaken with somebody else cuz I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, if, um, if if I give you my address, can you uh add maybe put that on a list of ones that you shouldn't go up and sanitize their hand oh, no, I'm not I'm not wiping down anything I don't even know what you're talking about I'm sorry I'm like totally shocked okay but look wh whatever kind of uh, cleaning solution you're using like you 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 wipe down our door oh, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing I'm sorry I um, yeah. I'm not doing any of that no. I'm like I'm we know it's very like confused why you're calling me I wondering if you got me mixed up with somebody else we know it's you because we've got you on camera and like and and you keep wiping down the handrails and the doorknobs and the car handle. Oh no, it's 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 definitely not me. And the doorbell. Who, who is this? And some of your what cleaning your some of your cleaning solution it kind of leaked it seeped in through the the edges of the doorbell. Okay, and sir, can was, you tell me what your last name is? Uh, it's Days. D a y s. How do you D a y s? Look, I I live at one one zero three four four drive can you add that to your list of people not to wipe down their handrails oh, I'm, I'm actually not doing it i was gonna ask you to talk to my husband because i oh okay honestly have no idea what you're talking about and oh, so okay um i i'm hoping that it's somebody else that looks like me <laughs> just uh, a second okay matt can you just one second okay <laughs> Sorry, my husband's in a business call. Is this a good number to call you back at? Yeah, sure. Just interrupt his business call. It's fine. This is more important than that. <laughs> um, is it going to be very long? I don't know. <sighs> um, um, is it? We. I'm. <laughs> I'm. I'm totally confused, and okay. I'm, I'm like just interrupt his business right now because I haven't. Just interrupt, no, I, interrupt um, his business meeting. It's fine. Just walk in there and hand him the phone. I'll, I'll be quiet about it. Let, let me just, just let, can I just call, can just, I call just, you back in a minute? Because I'd like to, if, if really just, somebody's on your ring, I need to come down and see who it is. Well, it's, it's definitely not me. I haven't been wiping down anything. Oh, no, it's definitely you. We, we saw you out there. Uh, we drove by. We saw you doing your next door neighbor's doorbell. And that's really nice of you and everything. It's just whatever solution you're using, it's um, it's very strong. I, I and, let me just call you back. Well, I, I can just hold. This. Ah, shit. I wanted to talk to that husband about that wife of his. That's what I need. I need husband's names on these things. Like uh, this big list I have from Frankie, it usually only has one person's name on it, which is either a husband or a wife. And it'd be nice if I could accuse the spouse of doing it, but I can't. 
Hello. Hi, Marlene. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve, Dave. I'm your neighbor. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, I was wondering, can you please not um, sanitize our handrails anymore? Sanitize your handrails? Yeah, you keep coming over to our house. We noticed you on the ring camera. Uh, we're like, um, you know, a, a few, we're on <laughs> Boulevard. I've never been to your house to sanitize. Oh, well, you're, you're doing all the other neighbors. You, you did ours, too. We saw you on the ring camera. Can you please, like... No, you... No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, You've got uh, the wrong person. It's not me. Oh, no, I know it's you. We we have you on the ring camera, and I, I, I know my neighbors. I was just hoping you could not do it anymore, because it's... It's, uh, you know, it just, it kind of smells up the, the front area, like we can smell the, whatever bleach stuff you're using. Do you think I'm a cleaning I'm, lady? Well, no, I just figured you were doing it for, because of the COVID-19 stuff. I thought you were just trying to keep okay, us, I'm gonna, keep us all safe. I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this again. I've never, I've not been on your property, and you... Whatever person you're seeing on your ring camera, you're misidentifying them as me. Oh, no, it's, I have not done that. It's a very clear picture. It's a 4K picture and everything. It's and you're you're, you're wiping can down. You send, can you? I, I've not done that, so that's why I'm so puzzled. Can you send it to my phone number here? Yeah, but you're you're wiping down our 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 doorbell and our doorknob and our handrail. And uh, you even did my wife's car handles on her car. Because she had it out I've the driveway. I've never done that. Can, can, look, I, I'm look, telling look, you. You don't have to deny it. Just please please stop, okay? That's all. Just, can you please not? I, uh, can I have your name again? Sure, it's Steve Dave. It's not that big of a deal. I just, like, if you could just not do well, any... it. It is to me because I didn't do it. Ma'am. I haven't. There, I would not. There's no reason to lie. Okay, we're done with this conversation because you're basically calling me a liar. Because you're um, lying. I've told like, can you, you just come clean and admit that you're, you, it was you that did it and not do it again? It's just a little weird that you're coming up late at night and, and wiping down all our handrails and stuff. That's all. Like, you know, whenever you do that, <laughs> it, it sends an alert to our phone and it wakes us up because our phone beeps. We don't need that. We're just trying to sleep. I have work How in the morning. I'm an essential worker. How do you, how do you spell your last name? Uh, D A Y S, Steve Dave. Well, and what's your address? Well, well I'm at one zero three three five Boulevard. Three three five. Yeah. So how did you know this was me? Um, because I drive by your house all the time. I've seen you out there. I've waved at you. You waved back. Uh, maybe you know Carol, my wife. I don't know. No, I don't. Okay. Well, look, just please stop doing that. It's weird. Steve, I'm going to tell you one more time. You're going to lie to There's me one more no time? There's no reason. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Why are you done? <laughs> maybe I should say I've been doing this, and I need them to chip in on the, the bleach and ammonia or something that I'm using. Hello? Hi. Uh, is Tony around? Uh, just a minute. Who's calling? This is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Hey, ma'am? Oh, uh, uh, just, just a minute. Okay, well, hey, ma'am. 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 Hello? Oh, hello, Tony? Yes? It's your neighbor. It's Steve Dave. Yes? Hey, can you stop coming in my yard and watering my trees? Which trees? My trees. Please stop coming in my yard and watering my trees. I d they don't need it. I never, I never water your trees. What oh, are you talking about? Look, I know. Listen here, motherfucker. You better stop watering those trees. What the fucking? Who are you, fucking son of a bitch? You know exactly who this is. I don't is. know any Steve, I, Dave, or something like that. What? what why are you? Why are you wandering around the neighborhood just? <laughs> Hello. Hi, is Gerald around? Um, just a moment, please. Okay. Tell him it's Steve Dave, your neighbor. Hello? Oh, hello, Gerald. Yes. 
It's Steve, Dave. I'm your neighbor. Uh, I'm sorry. Steve who? Steve, Dave. I'm your neighbor. Hey, look, can you please stop coming over to my house and watering my trees late at night? We, we don't need those watered. You're just overwatering them. You, you've got the wrong, wrong number. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit, I do. Just, yeah, you, just, yeah, you do. Just, just please stop doing that, okay? Listen, uh, you've, you've got the wrong guy. No, I don't. Uh, you are. We, we have a ring. You are calling. We have a, we have a camera. What? We have a camera. We can see you on it. You keep going out there and watering all our trees. You're going to overwater them. Listen, uh, there is no way that that I am watering any trees. Maybe you're sleepwalking. You have got the wrong person, buddy. Bullshit, pal. Look, it's not a big deal. Just don't do it anymore, okay? That's all I'm asking. Just cut it out. I'm not... I'm not doing it. What, what, are you just bored or something? You are calling the wrong number. Listen to me. Well, this is Gerald. You have dialed the wrong phone number. Is this Gerald? Yes, it is. Then it's the right there phone is number. No way, there is no way that, that, that I am watering any trees. You are, too. I do I not know water it's trees. You do, too. You water trees all the time in my yard. I want you to cut it out. Uh, you had better straighten it out, buddy, because I'm not watering your trees. Listen here, chief. I'm trying to straighten it out with you. I'm asking you to cut it out. Call me buddy, whatever. Hello? Hey, Peter? Yes? Hey, it's uh, Roy, your neighbor? Yeah. Hey, I was wondering, um, can you please stop coming over here and watering our trees like that? That's a little... What? 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 You keep coming over and watering our trees late at night. I was just wondering if you could cut that out. I have not been watering your trees late uh, at night. Look, no, we know it's you because we have the you know one of those security cameras. Wait a minute. So, who are you? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm not water. I, who? Steve Dave. I am not watering anybody's trees late at night. I'm not even up late at night. Okay, look, we know you don't have to deny it because we know it's you. We have the security camera. Who are you? We, this is Steve Dave. I, 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 I live on Lane. You know, just a little few houses down. I'm not. Don't accuse me of anything like that. Well, I'm not doing anything. I don't care who you have. Look, why, not me. why don't you, if you don't want me why to accuse you. Meet you me out in the yard. You want to meet me? We'll talk about it out in the yard. Look, why don't you stop You're fucking outside. doing it? Stop fucking doing it, okay? Hey, don't don't raise your voice like that. I mean, I'm not watering anybody's tree. I didn't raise my voice at I'm you. Not, I'm just like just. I'm not even up. But you're accusing me of something that I didn't do. You need to cut it the fuck out. You need to get a life. You know, maybe find your own little hobby that doesn't involve my yard. Who but are you? You need to stop watering my trees. I take care of my trees just fine. I'm not watering your trees. You're you're, you're definitely watering my trees. We me. have we have you on camera. You can have anybody on camera. It's not me. Well, then why do we have you on camera watering our trees? It's very clearly show you. It. Show it. Show, show it to me. No. I'm not a, why would I be watering anybody's trees? I guess you think it's nice or something, but we don't need it. You know, we take care of our trees already. Well, you, we you, a, whoever you see watering your trees, it's not me. Bullshit. I know it's you. So you need to just cut it the fuck out, asshole. Who are you? I already told you. Steve Dave. It's the third time I've told you. Get, get, I don't even know who you are. Though. Okay, look, can I get, can, can I give you my address and you can just cross my address off of your list and don't don't do my address anymore. Yeah, well, you, you here's can do what th- I'm going to tell you. If you see anybody else, if you see somebody watering your trees at night, it's not me. I don't even know if you know what I look like. Oh, I know what you look it's like. Not me cuz I don't get up early. At, I don't get out late at night. I drive by all I the time. I don't even get out late at night. Okay, look, look I don't get out late at night. Take take up scrapbooking or something. Just stay out stay the fuck out of my yard. I don't even know who this guy is. Man. He's accusing me. Says I'm watering his trees. <laughs> sir, sir, why don't, you, why don't you tell your wife to shut the fuck up? Hey, why don't you? Hey, why don't you get a life? If you don't, I'm not. I never. I'm, I'm not swearing at you. Okay. 
Well, I'm swearing at you. I'm, I'm not telling, swearing I'm, at you. I'm, ask, well, I'm well, asking hey, you to swear at your why wife. Don't you, why don't you, yo, yes, you were swearing at me a minute ago. Now, look, I'm an old guy, and I can't kick your ass, but I'll tell you what I can do. I'm not going to kick anyone's ass. I can call the police. Ass. I will call the police and tell them you're threatening me, okay? Steve Dave, that's what your name is, huh? When did I Spell threaten, your last name when did I threaten you? I didn't threaten you one but single you, time. You, I asked, you did threaten me. You've been threatening me from the time we started by, by using your... By the by, the language you've been using to me, I have not. It's not a. Th- I'm not going to get up and water anybody's trees at night. Yes, you are. We have you on Steve camera. Diggs. Just just stop doing it. And I'm not threatening you. I just ask you to please stop. I said please several times. Tell her to shut yeah, the fuck you, up. Hey, if you 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 say that one more time, and I will find you. Okay. Now. Uh, well, she keeps she uh, just keeps buttoning in. Tell her to stop buttoning in. Say so stop buttoning. What's your last name? Spell your last name for me. No, I don't have to spell shit. Just, just, just stop coming over and watering my trees. I, th- my trees are fine. I have a guy that comes and does my trees. I don't know. He says he lives here somewhere. Hey, can you tell yeah, her? Do to you sh- live in West? Can you tell her to shut the fuck up? Do you live in West? Yeah, I live on Air Lane. I'm just around the corner from you. I don't know where that is. You don't know where? It's like five houses from you. You live five houses from me, huh? Yeah, it intersects with drive. On where? Are you on drive? No. Oh, shit, I have no, the wrong no. number. I'm so sorry. We live in this town living in <laughs> Can you tell her to shut the fuck up? No, hey, hey. Okay, hang, hang, hang on a minute. You, you don't, I don't live, I live in, I live in, where do you live? Well, I'm in too. Look, just stop watering my trees. You're, you're making a big deal. I'm not watering. Out of, I'm not watering this, the tree. Tell me I'm threatening you and stuff when I'm not. Yeah, but you're Th- not. Say, but you're using horrible language about my wife and saying that. And and I don't know who just you the, are. That's one just, and two. I'm not watering your trees. That's just the what way. I'm telling you is, sir. What I'm telling you is, is if somebody comes up there tonight and waters your trees, it isn't me. One and two. I have never watered your trees. They're not going to come up tonight. They always come up on Thursday nights. It's or, Thursday night. Yeah, that, that's Thursday that you always come up and water my trees. So can you please just not do not that? Me. I'm, not, I'm not watering your trees. But whoever is watering your trees may come up again on Thursday night. Well, okay. It's it's you. And, and I, I, live, I live on West Drive, not... Where'd you say? No, you, you're, you're, you're misunderstanding me. You're, 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 you're twisting my words around. Look, just cut it the fuck out. Stop watering my trees. Stay, stay in your own damn yard. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You need to stay home. Stay home, save lives. Yeah. Huh. I'm not watering your trees. Yes, you are. But um, You are, too. <laughs> what? Okay. Nah, Tell that lady know. to shut the fuck up. Yeah. 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 What do you do for a living? Uh, that's none of your damn business. Yeah. Well, we got six foot feet, so we're real Yeah, I'm a... I'm a <laughs> Tell her to shut up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, why don't you uh, come find me sometime, and then we'll discuss it, okay? I don't want to find you. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to hang out. Just stop coming to my yeah. yard and watering my trees. It's weird. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, weird. whatever. It's I don't weird. even know who you are, asshole. Hey, stop using foul language with me. That's, you know, that's a threat, everyone. If you use a curse word with somebody, that's definitely a threat. You should definitely call the police if that happens. That guy just threatened my life. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop doing the show right now, and I'm going to go call the police on him. I'm going to make sure I fill out a full report and everything, get him arrested for threatening me. And while I'm doing that, you can listen to voicemails. Hey, Brad. It's Micah from uh, North Carolina. Holy shit. I just want to say thank you for all of your shows. Uh, thank you for sending me some stickers. You sent me a whole bunch. Anytime. I paid you five bucks. Yeah. And you gave me more. Uh, of course I did. This is my first voicemail, so I'm going to try to listen to make it quick. Anyway, I appreciate what you're doing. Oh, by the way, the stickers actually hold up really well on cars. So mine's sitting on, one sitting on the outside. Yeah, well, really well, you know what? Right. You, you just got those stickers. So let's see how you feel about that three or four or five months from now. See if those stickers hold up. Hey, thanks, Brad. Talk You're in later. for a big Bye. surprise, Micah. Hello, RBCP. This is Idiot Comic calling from Romania again. Hello. Um, I know in the past there was this idea. I don't oh. know if you had this idea or someone else. 
fucking but ideas. To produce a vinyl uh, with the PLA content. Oh, yeah. Like, that idea. That's fine. I know other prank call shows from, like, the 90s had something. If you remember, like, the Junkie oh. Boys. So now you're comparing me to prank call people from the 90s. Thanks a lot. And maybe Roy Mercer had a couple. I don't know. Yeah. But that would be really cool to reconsider that idea of um, producing a vinyl with some of your best curated calls. or And you could even put some of the uh, Red Box Chili Pepper songs thrown in there, too. That would Hell be pretty yeah. cool. Hell yeah. There's a lot of companies Why wouldn't that, I do that? Uh, will press vinyl for, like, in small batches. So I don't know if you would reconsider that, but just wanted to put it out there again. All yeah. right, bye. Okay. Now, I've been saying forever, I'm going to do a vinyl record. That was one of the original Patreon goals, and I need to at least do that since I'll probably never get Telephone Falls made. That was another original Patreon goal. I have been working on a brand new album I want to put out this year of prank calls. It's going to be Tenants from Hell themed, and it's going to be all of the very best Tenants from Hell calls. And I'm kind of thinking, like, if I get that all put together and I like how it sounds, maybe I'll turn that into the vinyl record. Because, of course, there's a song included with that by Redbox and the Chili Peppers, the Free Water song. And I've got a bunch of tracks selected and artwork that I'm most likely going to use for the album cover and the inside part and everything. The only thing that sucks about records is that the runtime is so short on them, and that kind of sucks. So usually I can make an album that's 70 or 80 minutes long. But what do you get on a record? Like 40 minutes or 45? Something like that? I don't even know. That'll kind of suck, making it a short album. But yes, I agree. We need to do a PLA album very soon. I'll get around to that soon. I promise. Hey, Brad. It's Luke. I had a question about your microphone. Okay. I know you mentioned once how you use an old Radio Shack microphone, and I want to know the reason why you stick to that instead of you know going a little more high tech or higher end. Is it just so you're more believable, so the audio quality is not too good for the telephone? Wow. Anyway, thanks for the show. Asshole. No, I thought this microphone sounded just fine. Could it sound better? I just didn't see any reason to replace it. I've definitely had people recommend better microphones to me. And for a while, I was using a pretty nice condenser mic that I have, which I still have. I could use that, but I don't know. Doesn't this one sound good enough? I mean, for real, what's the problem with it? I'm not like a big audio person, so I think I don't notice a lot of things that other people notice. And yeah, I've been using the same Radio Shack microphone since the very beginning of my podcasting. And that's kind of cool to be using the same microphone for, what's it been now, like 14 years or something? Not that I'm attached to it, but... I don't know. What would you recommend? What would any of you listeners recommend to me? If I was going to buy a brand new microphone to kind of take this show to the next level, what kind of microphone would it be? I don't know shit about microphones. I know I like dynamic mics because they don't pick up as much room noise as condenser mics do. So I kind of want to stick with dynamic at least. Unless you guys think I'm an idiot for that. I don't know. Just tell me. Good what morning, do. Roy. This is Ernie. I hey, was wondering, Ernie. how are you coping with the lack of sports right now. Oh, man. There's nothing on TV. It's been rough. I don't know what to do. But the silver lining in all of this is maybe we'll have baseball, basketball, and football seasons all going on at the same time later this year. I can't wait. Just wondering what your thoughts are. Bye-bye. Yeah, let, let's hope for that. That sounds like a good time. Aren't they all playing on Xbox together now since they can't play outdoors? I read that somewhere. I don't know if that's a regular thing. Hi, Brad. Fake Olga. What do ghosts use to phone home? A terror phone. Nope, sorry. You don't get a rim shot for that. You gotta step it up, Fake Olga. Hey, Brad. It's Apollo. Guess what? I'm calling you from my payphone again. Oh, um, neat. I've got a... Uh, it gets more exciting every time someone calls me from a payphone. A letter I want to send you in a little bit. It's got some good numbers and stuff. Here, I'm going to pay you real quick. Jesus, that was loud. Ah, okay, I'm hanging up on you. I'm ending this voicemail. I don't need that shit blowing out my headphones. What the hell? Lumberjack Tad here saying, don't be like the Gold Cup guy. I think you all should drink water. Because it could save your life. That's true. Water could totally save your life. Especially bottled water. Hey, uh, Roy. Hey. I recently sent you in a list of uh, different car salesmen. Sorry, I'm slow. I've uh, done a lot of acid. But okay. Have fun. 
it's always a good, those car sales good time to I call into the voicemail. Love to so hear it. Thanks. Bye. Don't acid. All right. Thank you for leaving me a voicemail to let me know that you sent me an email. That made complete sense. Uh, hey there, Brad. This is Great Big Pete. Hey. And uh, I'm calling from my telephone. Whoa. That's right. I'm making my telephone call your telephone and it rings. And then you pick up and you Fancy. say hello. And then that's how it works. Yeah. Anyways, I, I just hello, called to say I? hello and uh, tell you that uh, everything up here in Canada is just fine. That's great. You don't need to uh, worry about it. You don't have a Canada Everything phone number. That's fine. So I'm going to call you every day, uh, at least uh, once an hour. Sounds great. To let you know that everything is okay, okay. and that you don't have any messages. Thank you, from Great Big Pete. Fucker, this is Junior from the Kissing Yard. What's up, motherfucker? Hey, you need to do more of those Twitter complaints and more Walmart complaints. Okay. Okay. Thanks. We'll do. I'll get to those ASAP. Hey, Brad. Hey. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm doing just great. Just wanted to say, uh, guess you just joined your Patreon for five bucks a month. Woohoo! This, uh, who, whatever the fuck I am. So, yeah, this guy. <laughs> That's what you're supposed still. to say. I know. You, you were doing well and everything. You know, use your thumbs and stuff. Brad, uh, I love you, man. Right, welcome, welcome to Patreon. Bye. Welcome to the secret society at patreon.com slash phone losers. One of us. Uh, this is one of us. Hi, Brad. This is Greg calling from the UK. Hey. I'm a semi-long-time listener and recent patron. Hey. Just wanted to say thank you for making quarantine that little bit more bearable. Yeah. Keep up the good You're work. You're not talking about the past week, are you? Because keep up the good work, oops. and most importantly, keep safe. Cactus, cactus. Yep. I'm I'm keeping plenty safe. Flying around the country on airplanes. I visited four major cities this weekend. I've definitely got the corona for sure. Hey, Brad, this is Incredulous. You mm. mentioned that you had a blind person that couldn't use your website. Oh, okay. um, you should use the user way um, accessibility widget. There's a WordPress plugin. Just search for user way. Um, it'll give screen reader support for blind people, and you can toggle the contrast mode on. So it's high contrast. Um, and it's got a lot of other really cool tools. Uh, it's got voice High dictation. Contrast. Um, so anyway, it's really easy. You don't have to do any work. It's free. Just install it, and that blind person will be able to use your site. Okay. See you later. You know what, blind person who emailed me? You could have told me that. Instead of just complaining, you could have said, Hey, Brad, you might want to make this more blind accessible. Use this plugin called UserWay. I have written UserWay on my hand. Hopefully it doesn't rub off before I get around to looking into that. Thanks for the advice. Let's listen to one last voicemail, even though there are more than that. Hey, Brad, Roy, Mr. Dabalina, hey. Steve Day. Come on, get on with it. It's Poncho from hey. Virginia. What's up? And I am calling you on my way to buy some marijuana, and I have to drive a few hours Braggy. because it's a good price to go this way. And so I listen to you podcast, no plow show, my way there and back, and I listen to it, I go about once a month, yeah. so I'm listening to you, I've been listening to you since 2012, and I, I think you do a great job, and uh, I'll be Why, thank supporting you. you on Patreon soon. You better. I used to support you with under a different name, but mm -hmm. it's all good. How Hi, convenient. Brad. Appreciate it. How convenient you didn't tell me the different name. That makes your claim seem very suspicious. So thanks for the voicemails, everyone. There's not a lot of them left, but I just don't feel like doing any more voicemails. I've got wasted memory to listen to, and it's hard to listen to him while I'm doing voicemails, so I need to stop doing voicemails so I can listen to Wasted Memory and edit the rest of my show and get it posted. Damn it, Wasted Memory, you're making this really difficult. He even tried to add me to his show a few minutes ago. I'm like, sorry, I'm doing my own show here. Can't be on your show. Thank you, Brown Magic, Rhett B, Arbitrary Alex, Eat Fuck, and Synthhead for being the sponsors of today's episode. If you'd like to be a sponsor, that would sure help me pay off my prank calling fines. I'm halfway there. You can join up over at patreon.com slash phone losers, and there's other ways to support the show at phonelosers.com slash support. Supporting the show for just $5 a month gets you an extra show every week, except for last week. No shows happened last week, but on average, you get an extra show every single week. If there's not one one week, then I make up for it the next week, usually. So join up on the Patreon. There's definitely going to be a hobo sewed tomorrow, though. 
I can promise you that at least. I'm ending today's show with a song by the Dead South. So here it is. Bye, everyone. I see my redhead mess bed tear shed creepy miss queen.